full. It actually cost X amount, but in Kaleshuram books, it is shown as to have costed 5X or 4X. So, doesn't this call for an audit? Doesn't this call for an inquiry? Also, the quality of the works of this project is heavily compromised. Many experts have advised against, against many, many technicalities of this project. Simple examples would be, simple examples would be, many experts against... But Mr. KCR insisted on submerged pump houses. The experts said that surface pump houses are going to cost at least a thousand crores lesser than submerged pump houses and also the risk of earthquakes or the risk of flooding will not uh, uh, be, uh, be a risk. But Mr. KCR insisted on hiking the project because his, his commissions are dependent on the size of the project. Because if the project is big, his commissions are going to be bigger. That's why Mr. KGR, KCR insisted on going for submerged pump houses and the recent floods have submerged this project beyond repair and recognition. So, the preventive walls or the retention walls that were supposed to protect this project from flood actually gave in because the, pro the protection wall was not made of concrete. It was made of cheaper materials like brick and thereby the whole project is submerged. Doesn't this call for an audit? Doesn't this call for an inquiry? Also, the viability of the project. There is no sense at all in the viability of this project. Mr. KCR, 1,20,000 crores of rupees, Mr. KCR said would irrigate just 18 lakh acres. In no, in the history of India, nobody has spent so much of money to irrigate 18 lakh acres, just 18 lakh of new acres. Also, on the one side, it has not irrigated 18 lakhs. 1 lakh 20,000 crores of rupees was spent and the minister said it irrigated, one year it irrigated 50,000 acres, one other year it irrigated 67,000 acres and another year in the recent season, the minister himself said it irrigated not more than 1.5 lakh acres. So literally, 1.20 lakh crores of rupees was invested, was used step to irrigate only 1.5 lakh acres of land. Doesn't this call for an inquiry? Doesn't this call for an audit? If the cost is on one side, say 1 lakh 20,000 crores of rupees is already spent. If that is on one side, there is a recurring cost for this project that is going to recur every year because this is a lift irrigation project and the water has to be lifted. The power bills are going to be huge. Even until today, 3,000 crores was spent just on power bills. And apart from that, apart from that, the debt servicing of this project is 13,000 crores of rupees per annum. So there is, in any way you look at it, there is no viability for this project. So on what basis was this, was this project commissioned? On what basis was this project even approved? An audit has to be done. We are demanding that an inquiry be done. Also, in the recent times we have seen that this project was actually given permission for 2 TMC of water per day. To lift 2 TMC of water for 90 days, which means per annum this project can lift 180 TMC of water. But in no particular year, even though the, the uh, project has been commissioned since three years, three years, in no year did the, this project lift that 180 TMC of water. The maximum it lift was around 35 TMC.